Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanted to come on today because today is November 13th, 2015, and yesterday was actually my one month surgery. So I wanted to pop on here and do just a quick full body shot. I had done one a couple days prior to going in for surgery and I'm an idiot and never actually took my measurements or anything to kind of compare and see how that is going as opposed to like the, the numbers on the scale. And I'm really kicking myself that I didn't do that. So if you are pre-op and watching this, please, please, please take your measurements. Even if you're just right after surgery, take your measurements because you're going to want to have those on hand. I really am kicking myself. Probably should just do them now to see where, you know, how it goes down the line. But for right now, all that I have to compare myself to is my previous video and, and pictures and things like that. So I wanted to get on here and just do this really quickly. Um, these are the same clothes that I was wearing. As you can see, uh, they're a little bit big and baggy. I can't wear these pants anymore. They're just hideous. Um, same shirt that I have on, the same ratty tank top, but I feel like this will give a more true, um, I don't know, it's just tighter, so I felt like it would give a more true look at what I really look like. <sighs> so um, to tell you where I am stat-wise, um, I started at 335, surgery date was 300.8. When I did my last video, it was anywhere from 304 to 300.8. I'm not sure where I was, but somewhere right in there. And then at my last weigh-in on Monday, it was 279.1. A little frustrating, um, but... I ranted and raved about it in my last video, so if you would like to see why or what happened, you can definitely go check that out. So, this is what 279.1, hopefully less today, because today's Friday, um, but what it looks like on me. So here we go. I should move back just a smidge. So here we go. This is still really pissing me off, right? I know I haven't even lost that much weight, but it really does, look, tick me off. Like this, this used to be skin tight on me when I, you know, was starting. Literally skin tight on my stomach, okay? And you can see that it's kind of loose now, right? Still holy, but kind of loose. And you can still see this fat stomach. And I don't want to see it anymore. I want it to go away. When I'm doing that here, so I'm one month post-op. I was going to try and show you my um, my scars, but you can't see it with the lighting. Um, but everything's healed really nicely. Um, I just, when I was poking my stomach, I hit one of my incisions. This incision right here was really indented. Like, my stomach was really indented. And I have a picture of it on my Instagram, which is Caitlin's VSG Journey, if you want to see it, from, like, right after surgery. So it's, like, bruised and has bloody tape on it. So sorry. But... It's like it was super indented, which I never obviously had. I don't know if it was the way that it stitched back up. Um, but just now about four and a half to five weeks out, um, probably four and a half because I'm not yet five weeks out, uh, it's starting to go back to the normal fatness. So, um, but it is still, it, that one is still pretty tender. That one has been the most sensitive to me um, of all of them. I don't know if that's where the stomach came out, but because there's a larger incision right here, so I thought it was here, but I, I don't know. It was just kind of weird looking. So um, that one's still a little t tender, but everything else is really, really good. Um, so yeah, everything's healing well. I'm a month out. I can't believe it. I go back to work on Monday and I hate that. I know I've been spoiled with how much time I've had off, but just in having, being able to be home with my kids and, and being able to be home and like recuperate has been so nice. So I'm going to go play the lottery and cross my fingers that I win Powerball or something so I can stay home every day. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel so impersonal being so far away. Um, I feel like this is going to fall. But thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. Again, sorry I'm so bright and washed out. But um, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I love reading comments. I love if I don't respond to them, it's because I'm on my phone and I don't always see them. Um, but I really love being able to read your guys' comments, and I love having your support, obviously. So feel free to reach out to me there. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, email if you have questions, just anything that you'd like. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and watching. Sorry I'm so shaky. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.